Tucker is one of country music's most revered stars. Even after her bouts of personal challenges, people have rooted for her on and off the stage. And I am so honored to have her on because we know that finally, as she wrote in one of her songs, she's getting the flowers that she deserves. Yeah. 26 albums later, 25 million records sold. Today, Tanya is now getting those flowers she deserved at the peak of her success. Her, in 17 years, her albums have just been a phenomenal journey of stories. And now she's got a documentary out that is getting praise. Take a look. When I heard that Tanya Tucker hadn't made a record in the better part of 15 years, Here we go. I suddenly realized how potent an influence Tanya Tucker has been on women in country music. And I wondered why the world has forgotten. And I wondered why I'd forgotten. Hey, Tanya, hi. hi. I feel like I know you. I want this record to be a renaissance period in her life. I got a chorus that I was bring my flowers now while I'm living. That's as far as I got with it. We can write it and put it well, on yeah. this record. Like, that, that belongs on this record. My dad looked across the table at me when I was about nine years old. And he says, Tanya, do you want to stay here for the rest of your life here in Wilcox, or do you want to go be a star? And I said, well, Daddy, that's not much of a choice. I want to be a star. Wow. Tan fan, please help welcome the one and only Grammy Award-winning legend, Tanya Tucker. I know you've got the holiday film, but this documentary, they're talking about an Oscar. Oh. I mean, you know, Brandi Carlisle, I believe, helped um, inspire yeah, this journey did. of revelation for you. Why do you feel this was the time to tell the story in this form? Well, I didn't. You know, I, I just, I went to California to uh, start the record, which was while I'm living, the, the whole album, and um, with Brandi and Shooter Jennings, and I got, they got me out there after, I guess it was 17, 18 year hiatus. It just, it was a timing thing. And Shooter saw me and he told her and she was a big fan since she was eight years old. So uh, we got together and I went to California and uh, the minute I walked in the studio, I had two microphones on at all times. Wow. Of course, I'm, you know, I'm kind of used to that after all the years of, of uh, performing, being on TV, being in a reality show. Uh, yeah. it, that, that didn't bother me. I didn't even know what really what was happening. But people are calling this, though, is a reminder of your greatness. I know you oh, have wow. the song about giving flowers inspired by Loretta. Bring my flowers now. Bring my flowers now, inspired after the passing of your parents, after the oh, yeah. passing of Loretta yeah. Lynn, and you saw it fit to express what we like to say is giving you flowers while you're around. Yeah, bring my so flowers bring, now while yeah, I'm living. Yeah, bring it while they're living. Bring, bring my flowers now while I'm living. You know, you talk about Brandy remembering you. I feel like you were always on a, an award show or uh, a program I was when I was something. going. And you were the rock and roll bad girl, yeah. if you will, of country yeah. music. <laughs> You, I mean, yeah. my reputation precedes me, yeah, believe Your me. reputation, I mean, I remember getting, you know, walking to the grocery store, seeing the tablet. Yeah, yeah. About your very public battles with addiction mm -hmm. and your love life. You were in a class of your own when it came to country music women. Wow. I just thought about what you said, and that's pretty cool. It is. <laughs> Did you know it was cool when wow. it was happening? No, though? no, no, no. You know, I was just a, a girl trying to make a living and, and try to enjoy it, too. The thing is, is that it, it looked like I was badder than it was, yeah. you know, because I had a guy tell me one time, actually, he was the father of my, my, my youngest, uh, Layla. He said, man, he's not heard of you. He wow, wow, before I got with you. He said, I got with you now. And he said, I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So he tell wow, me. everybody said so he was. The myth of Tanya Tucker versus Yes, reality. exactly. I but wasn't. I guess what I'm getting at is that you were not although you had been labeled in all oh, yeah. the magazines and the tabloids yeah. as the wild child of That's country right. music, there was this double standard because yeah. men were being celebrated for being raucous and yeah. rock and roll. Well, and you know, look at the women though, in, in pretty much the, at that time in the business. I mean, there's Loretta, Tammy. 
I mean, you know, they weren't, they weren't rocking around like me. Yeah. You know, Elvis was a big influence. Oh, and, I uh, see the Elvis in you, you know. 100%. Uh, and uh, I, I just always loved him. So that was my big inspiration as far as performing. Right. So here you are, fast forward, from that kid in the documentary who said, I want to be a star, to finally, after all these years, winning Grammys. I know. Wow, wow. I mean... Who the thought? 2020 brought your first Grammy. All those years later, and you finally get your Grammys. 14 nominations later. Gosh. And I was 14 when I first got nominated. Yeah. I was 14 years old. And what did that finally feel like? When they called my name, I... I yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah. Yeah, that was a special moment because uh, the only thing I, I say, there's always... Yeah, I won the lottery, and that same day my dog died. You know, something really great and really bad at the same time. So it was great to win and all that, but I thought how really wonderful would it have been if my parents would have been there. But my, uh, my uh, Double D Ranchwear, who outfits me, um, they embroidered my mother and dad's name into oh. my sleeve of my, that of my so jacket. Beautiful. So They were there. Yeah, Coming they up, were there. more with music legend Tanya Tucker when we come right back. <laughs> Welcome back. Today we're talking about what you win when you lose, and we are so inspired by the guests we've been talking to, the great Tanya Tucker. I love this. I gotta stop this. Um, your new single in your documentary, Ready As I'll Never That's Be. That's right. That's it. Tell me about that title. Well, uh, the song's about my heroes You're, and losing about, them. Yeah. The song is about losing. Like my parents, my Loretta Land was one of my be very best friends. I mean, Tammy, those were the people I hung with, you know. And I'm so thankful that I got to be in music at this time. Now, I'm not thankful for being 64. I mean, I would rather be 44. <laughs> Why 44? Because I could do more. Yeah. Well, you're very busy. You have this holiday I, film. I you're not slowing down. You've got a I'm going to die before I get it all done, I'm sure. No. no. <laughs> because it's just, you know, I don't want to wheel out there. I want to kind of go when, when I'm uh, able, you know? You have this film, A Nashville Country Christmas. I think we have a clip. Let's play it. Table or counter? Uh, look, I'm only here because you promised the kids hot chocolate. Guys, guys, You can take it stop, to go. Stop. It's late. Come on, Josie. It's Friday. Let your hair down a little. I got marshmallows and whipped cream. Fine. But no marshmallows. Your wish is my command. And don't get crazy with that whipped cream, either. Wouldn't dream of it. Oh! I should tell the audience, this was your film debut. Yeah, well. This is your first film. It might be my last, oh too. Oh, my God. <laughs> no, I, I, you know, this is a wonderful story. Can I tell you something it's as a fan? lighthearted. Can I tell you something as a fan? Yeah, yeah. Every great moment we've just named, from the Grammy, the documentary, this film, yeah. you have said, well, this, well, that. You're getting your flowers from all of us because you're still doing it. Woman, do you see what you are doing Thank and you done? So oh my God. I mean, come on here. The show today is about Thank you. winning when you lose. Yeah. You had loss, you faced challenges. Yeah, yeah. But Thank before you for that. your name, people say icon. Well, I think probably. Let, let, uh, uh, let me stop. Okay. Can you just say thank you? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. We, we love you. Well, this I just want to be better. I want to be better for them. You know, I'm never as good as I want to be. You are. Yeah. You are. <laughs> I heard you say there are a lot of things going on. I don't know what those things are. But please let this thing, this love, be the, oh, you feel I, at this moment. It's what I live for. Thank you so much. Thank you. The one and only Tanya Tucker. And you can watch the Nashville Country Christmas now on the Paramount Network. They're going to be an encore presentation of the movie Christmas Day, 11 a.m. Eastern and Pacific time on CMT. And you can see the documentary, The Return of Tanya Tucker, featuring Brandi Carlisle at a theater near you.